Hola amigos, bienvenidos a Spanish Lessons for Me. Me llamo Ángela. Hoy vamos a practicar tu pronunciación. Today we're going to practice your pronunciation. Yo te voy a pedir a ti, I will ask you, que escuches, to listen. Y después, and after that, repitas, que repitas, to repeat. ¿Ok? También, also, yo voy a leer una oración en español usando la palabra. I will also read a sentence using that word. Y te voy a pedir, I will ask you, que la repitas, to repeat it. ¿Ok? Empecemos. All of the words in today's lesson have to do with food. Some of these you probably have already heard, some of these you might have already tasted, and some of these you might not know. I have heard some people mispronounce some of these words, and that's why I thought it might be a good idea to make a video to practice your pronunciation. Empecemos. First word. Paella. 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 Paella is a Spanish rice dish, originally from Valencia in Spain. It's typically cooked with saffron, vegetables, meat, and, and spices. It's generally cooked and served in a large, shallow pan. Esta paella está deliciosa. Esta paella está deliciosa. This paella is delicious. Chorizo. This is a type of Spanish or Latin American pork sausage and it is usually seasoned with various spices. In Spain, you will pronounce the Z as a TH, chorizo. Yo soy de Latinoamérica, I'm from Latin America, and that's why I pronounce it chorizo. Me encanta el chorizo con ensalada. Me encanta el chorizo con ensalada. I love chorizo with salad. The dish that you see in front of you, that is a, one of the typical dishes from where I come from. My city is called Sucre in Bolivia. This is another one that you might have already tasted. When you pronounce it, ignore that U that you see after Q. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. It's a Mexican dish, and as you might know, it's prepared with tortilla. It could be flour or corn tortilla. And it has cheese. It could also have other ingredients such as uh, vegetables or meat. La quesadilla se prepara rápido. La quesadilla se prepara rápido. Quesadillas can be quick to prepare. And in fact, in many Mexican households, you might see them prepared as snacks or as a light dinner. Guacamole. 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 El mejor guacamole es fresco. El mejor guacamole es fresco. The best guacamole is fresh. As you might know, it's a Mexican dip or spread made with uh, mashed avocados and it's typically mixed with lime juice so it doesn't turn brown. It has onions, tomatoes, and it might have seasonings as well. I just put salt on it. Tostada, tostada. Tostada is a Mexican dish consisting of a fried or baked tortilla and it's topped with various ingredients such as beans, cheese, meat, vegetables, and salsa. You can buy the tortillas at the store and then you can just make a super quick lunch with uh, tostadas. Hay tostadas horneadas. Hay tostadas horneadas. There are baked tostadas. Where I come from, tostadas are sliced bread that has been toasted. 
Generally, they're served for breakfast with butter, marmalade, deli meats, or cheese. Tostadas. Me gustan las tostadas con mantequilla. I like toasted bread with butter. Flan. Flan. El flan es mi postre favorito. El flan es mi postre favorito. Flan is my favorite dessert. Flan is a sweet Spanish or Latin American dessert. It's made with caramelized sugar, eggs, vanilla, milk. Super yummy and so easy to make. One of these days, I'll give you the recipe. Churro. Churro. It's a fried dough pastry. It originated in Spain, but you can find it now all over Latin America, of course. And it is often coated with cinnamon, sugar, and generally served with hot chocolate. It could be eaten a, as a snack or a dessert. Los churros se acompañan con chocolate caliente. Los churros se acompañan con chocolate caliente. Churros generally are served with hot chocolate. Horchata. Horchata. La horchata es refrescante. La horchata es refrescante. Horchata is refreshing. Horchata is a milky drink made from ground almonds, rice, nuts, and it's flavored with vanilla, cinnamon, and sugar. Ceviche. Ceviche. It's a Latin American dish made with raw fish or seafood marinated in citrus juice, typically lime or lemon, and it's seasoned with onions, pepper, cilantro, and other spices. El ceviche peruano es espectacular. El ceviche peruano es espectacular. Peruvian ceviche is spectacular. Arepa, arepa. Arepa is a traditional Venezuelan and Colombian dish made with ground uh, corn flour or cooked flour and it's often stuffed or topped with various ingredients. Quiero aprender a hacer arepas. Quiero aprender a hacer arepas. I want to learn how to make arepas. Empanada. Empanada. Para mí, dos empanadas, por favor. Para mí, dos empanadas, por favor. For me, two empanadas, please. Empanada is a type of stuffed pastry and it could be sweet or savory. It could also be baked or fried. Mole. Mole is a Mexican dish made with the sauce that you see in front of you. There are different types of mole sauces and they're very intricate to make, very elaborate. They take tons of ingredients and it's just a treat to have mole, especially mole from Puebla. Mole poblano is a very popular dish. It has chocolate in it and it's my favorite. It's really, really delicious. El mole poblano es increíble. El mole poblano es increíble. El tamal o los tamales. Tamal. Tamales. It's a traditional Mexican dish made with masa dough filled with various ingredients. It could be sweet as well. ¿Sabías que hay tamales dulces? ¿Sabías que hay tamales dulces? Did you know there are sweet tamales? Pupusa. Pupusa. No se puede olvidar la salsa para las pupusas. No se puede olvidar la salsa para las pupusas. 
Salsa cannot be forgotten when serving pupusas. It's a traditional Salvadorian dish made with corn, tortillas, stuffed with cheese, beans, meat, and other ingredients. Curtido. 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 Curtido is a type of salad that is made with vinegar, served generally with pupusas. It is a wonderful addition to pupusas because the acid really cuts through the cheese and the fat of the pupusa. Hay que preparar curtido para las pupusas. Hay que preparar curtido para las pupusas. We must prepare curtido for the pupusas. Bacalao. Bacalao. Bacalao is codfish. It's prepared in various traditional dishes in Spain and Latin America. El bacalao que hace mi tía es para chuparse los dedos. El bacalao que hace mi tía es para chuparse los dedos. Frijoles. I'm sure you have eaten frijoles by now. I've seen this word cause a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to repeat it. Frijoles. The J sounds like a Frijoles. Los frijoles charros son adictivos. Frijoles charros are addictive. Dulce de leche. Dulce de leche. It's a caramel-like confection. It's made with uh, slowly heating sweetened milk until it caramelizes. It can be used as a spread, as a filling. Personally, I like it on fruit. Me fascinan las bananas con dulce de leche. Me fascinan las bananas con dulce de leche. I love bananas with dulce de leche. Morcilla. Morcilla. Recuerdo que mi abuela hacía morcilla. Recuerdo que mi abuela hacía morcilla. I remember my grandma used to make morcilla. It's a blood sausage made by cooking blood, usually from pork, and it has fillers such as rice, onions, spices. It's stuffed into casings like a, a chorizo or a sal salchicha, and it's cooked by boiling, frying, or grilling. This is another one that you probably already have had. I've also heard it be a little bit problematic to pronounce, so I'm going to repeat this one for you. Jalapeño. 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 Voy a plantar jalapeños. Voy a plantar jalapeños. I'm going to plant jalapeños. That's it. I hope this was helpful. If it was, consider giving me a like, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Keep studying. Until next time. Adios, amigos.